Hey, hey, Sagittarius, intuitive soul coach here with your September 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Sag, I'm getting a couple of energies here right away for you. There is important communication coming in for you in the present month of September, possibly even the near future, that has to do with your wealth, your finances, and your money. So it could be an email interaction, it could be a phone call, it could also be messages from your higher self. So pay attention as communication is very important in the coming weeks and into the coming months. I'm also getting this energy here of Hermit, so some of you could be doing some deep soul searching. You may work from home, you may work remotely, or you're just doing that deep inner soul work and asking yourselves the bigger questions in life. What is my divine path? What am I here for? How can I lead more towards my life purpose? Because you do have the, the Buddha card showing up in the present month of September. So I feel like this is more than just money. Of course, we need money to survive here on earth, but I feel like you want to feel financially stable, emotionally stable, physically, spiritually. You want all the things and you're just going on a, a little bit of a deep soul mission at this time to figure out how you can make all those things work in your life. Now, in the recent past, Sag, you have the rose. This is about financial relief, being content with where you are at. And if you're not, I feel like the universe supports you as you make some changes when it comes to your security. This is about you growing, you evolving, and I'm getting internal growth. This is soul growth for you. Now, for others of you, it's going to pertain to business as well, growing your business, growing your career, growing your reputation. But I feel it starts from the inside out, and you may start to see noticeable growth in the near future that could show up in the form of more followers it could be a promotion it could be more purchases more clients whatever this is here for you you're going to see noticeable growth in the physical realm you could also see that your ideas are coming to life so whatever it is that you are working on whether it's on the side it could be a creative endeavor a hobby or it's your full-time business i sense that you are bringing it down to reality and you're building upon this here now, some of you, you have support, whether it is from the people that you work with, it could even be support within the household. There could be dual incomes here. For others of you, I feel like you work in a supportive role. You could work in healthcare. You could work in, uh, you know, I'm getting assistant energy as well. You could be an assistant to others or you could be an assistant within the company. Some of you hold it all together. You may be the glue, you may be the rock. You are very important. The skills and the talents that you have <clears throat> really shining through here. But I am getting in the recent past, there could have been some financial relief coming in for you as well. It could have been a loan or it could have been back pay, some sort of money owed to you, or uh, someone may have even come to you and said, Sagittarius, here's some, uh, here's a money that I've owed you from the past. Or some of you could have saved on a payment. For example, maybe you normally pay a couple of hundred dollars for, for energy a month or a few hundred. It could have, you could have saved on that. Some of you have had a very large uh, incentive or maybe even a coupon as well that you've used in the recent past that's really helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Now, in the present month of September 2023, Sagittarius, you have the Buddha, and this does remind me of the Hermit, but I was getting the Hermit even before pulling your cards, and I feel like you have been doing the work. The Hermit energy is about introspection. It's about soul searching, gaining the self-knowledge that you need in order to bring in more wealth of all forms, not just money, right? Even though money is available here to you, it is feeling wealth and abundant with the resources that you have, with the people that you surround yourself with, with being of service to others, for loving what it is that you do, having the flexibility and freedom. Spirit is giving me flexibility and freedom means more to a lot of you than the numbers here. 
Okay, some of you are counselors. You could be coaches, mentors, teachers. I am getting this energy here of you making a shift. Even if you work a nine to five, you could even read maybe tarot for other people. Maybe you're starting a YouTube channel. You're doing something that is coming straight from your intuition and straight from the heart and the soul. So I love this. You're being divinely guided to move in a new direction or to increase what it is that you are curious about and to focus on your spiritual gifts, your spiritual talents. So I love this showing up for you, Sag. Now in the near future, you do have the tree card and this tree reminds me of the 10 of pentacles. So we may even see the 10 of pentacles, possibly even the 10 of cups showing up here in your reading because this is financial growth, things coming to fruition. It is, you know, a plethora of new opportunities here. And I feel like sweet results will come to your, uh, you know, come to your life. Whatever you're working on, if it's sweet, if it is magical, if it is spiritual, I feel like this is a big blessing here. It could feel like it's in disguise but for a lot of you you're heading towards abundance now you may have a career where you work outdoors okay this could be an outdoorsy job they're giving me something with farming sustainability humanitarianism maybe you're building something as well you could work with trees with nature with wellness products health products recycling okay water as well uh foods nutrition any of that uh any anything in that category. You may have a family business. This is about legacy, passing down maybe your business, or you may have a business or work in a career that can really benefit or help your family or help other families as well. But this is about you having that sense of stability. I also get that some of you could be receiving some sort of pension. Uh, this could be, you know, whether it's uh, I'm not sure what it is, it's some sort of pension, whether it's uh, alimony, whether it's child support, whether it's social security. If you are uh, blessed enough to get anything of that nature, I feel like that could be coming in here. Uh, or if there has been uh, insufficient funds in the past from one of those areas, there could be some back pay coming in here for you. It could even be medical, right? Please take it as it resonates. Let's dive into your main energy here and see what is showing up. We're going to do a Celtic cross. I will pull all of the cards here on the Celtic cross and we'll turn them all over except the final outcome. We'll save the best for last here. So what do we have starting off? We have the nine of wands. Some of you are feeling like you're, you need a break. You need a rest. Some of you want to give up on a dream or you are sick and tired of being sick and tired where you currently are at. So if there was some challenges when it came to health, or excuse me, well, health and wealth, right? Because wealth can be health. There's a really wonderful uh, book, Self-Worth Equals Net Worth, Nancy Levin. Uh, that is all about blending those energies of health and wealth here. And self-worth equals, you know, that net worth. So let's take a look here and see what else is coming in for you. A lot of you are wanting to make a choice to work a little bit smarter in your life because you've been working really hard and you're ready to end a cycle that has been maybe draining of your time and your energy. And that's why you have all of this deep soul searching. You've been reflecting here. Some of you are wanting to end a job or end a situation that has been taxing on you, taxing on your mental health, physical health, spiritual health. So I am getting health for a lot of you. All right. You could even work in health insurance. All right. Let's take a look and dive in here. <clears throat> All right, yeah. The challenge here is a new beginning with the Fool card. And I certainly sense that some of you have contemplated going back to a past position or staying in a position that you've been in for quite some time, but you really want this new beginning. So let's dive in here. You do have the Nine of Wands showing up here, and some of you are in the, the lower vibration of the Nine of Wands, so this can feel like you really do want to give up, right? You want to give up, but Spirit is saying you are coming close to a breakthrough, and that's what I see here for for you with the tree the nine of wands is the wounded warrior it is the card of having that final push that determination that motivation and spiritual strength to keep on going even though it's tough even though it's difficult and challenging at times you have what it takes there could also be some decision making here so someone could be making a decision to sever cut off leave a situation that's just not healthy 
Some of you may have been fired or let go as well. And that financial relief or that aid could be maybe unemployment. Uh, okay, this could also be that some of you feel defeated because your business went under, maybe due to COVID, or there was a situation where you, you kept going and kept fighting tooth and nail to make something happen, and it just felt like there was no pro progress. It's like when you see a, a hamster on a hamster wheel, you just keep spinning and spinning and spinning, but I feel like you're closer than you think to a breakthrough. So what's happening here is because you're, you're going in, because you have some deep internal changes happening, you're going to see this noticeable growth in your outer world and I feel like it's even going to come in here before the end of the year before the end of 2023 possibly October November and that's the challenge is this new beginning you want to have a fearless new beginning but fear has set in for some of you now what do I say about fear false evidence appearing real now some of you may challenge that and you say Melissa this fear is very real it's not you know it's not false I, I lost my job or I don't have the money or it's a struggle and I absolutely fear that or <laughs> fear that feel that but I do feel for some of you there's a little bit of resistance uh, there is a little bit of wanting to, to give up because we have here with the fool fearful there's fearful and there's fearless and if I were to choose out of the two, of course, fearless, because it means that there's not an absent of fear. We need fear. As I always say, we're having a human experience after all, and fear is part of that experience. However, when we let fear sit in the, the front seat, right, the, the driver's seat of our lives, we stay held hostage, right? If fear sits in that driver's seat in the driveway, we're not going to go anywhere because fear says at every turn, there's going to be a car, there's going to be an animal that jumps out, or it's, there's going to be a detour or a road bump or a roadblock. It makes every single excuse in the book for not leaving that driveway, right? And when you are fearless, Sagittarius, you again don't have an absence of fear, but you tell fear to take a hike and get in the back seat. Buckle up, fear, because you're going in for a ride and I'm in charge. And this is what your challenge is is for you to send fear packing, send fear in the back seat or even the trunk, right? You can come along for the ride, but you're certainly not going to take the wheel. And a lot of you want this new beginning, whether it's a new job, a new promotion, a new business opportunity to take off so you can get out of a current situation. It wouldn't surprise me here if the final outcome is possibly even the Six of Swords. Maybe Maybe even the eight of cups because I feel like you you may have felt like you were in a sticky situation or one that was challenging or troubling for others of you this nine of wands is you pushing through uh, because you know that you're gonna make it to the top I feel like you are but the challenge is uh, you know plunging through some of you you could be studying really hard for an exam that maybe you're taking in November or December and you know that once you get through that exam your life's gonna change because then the opportunities open up for others of you you're putting out your resume after resume but you may feel like you're getting rejection after rejection and it can feel defeating at times it can feel daunting like you'll never move forward but I feel like those rejections are coming in to offer you a better opportunity and you have the fool card coming into your energy so even though it's the challenge it's still in your energy which is good and this means that there is this opportunity coming in but impatience could be getting the best of us and sometimes that impatience can turn to fear and that sometimes that fear gets you stuck in that lower vibrational pattern that says yeah this is never gonna happen or I'm getting impatient or I start to get obsessive right you start to think about things and then it starts grinding your gears let's try not to let that happen for you this month Sag because you have a new beginning here that is leading to a lot more abundance and wealth and financial growth than you can see coming here some of you can see this coming that's why you're working so hard to attain what it is you're working on here because you see that it's right there close so close now what's in the deep deep past there's the hierophants so even though I was getting that uh, uh, excuse me that hermit energy the hierophant is also about being divinely guided it's about teaching moments teachability learning it's about taking a look at your traditions and your beliefs and your morals and are they aligned with the moves that you're making now do you feel like things are a little bit corrupt around you or within you? And if so, you may be in need of a deep upgrade. 
the hierophant is about traditional thinking. So you may be going the traditional way or going the traditional approach, but spirit is saying here, that's not the way forward. You must take an unconventional approach to the way that you're doing things because what's maybe worked in the past or what you've done in the past, it's not going to work this time around. And there is here a little bit of a twist, a twist in the energy, but I feel like it's for the better because maybe the old way of doing it uh, is no longer working for you now and you need to branch off, hence the trees. This is all about branches, new opportunities for growth, for improvements. So some of you could also need to reach out at this time uh, to others, right? Other like-minded individuals, other people who can teach you new things. Some of you may also be around people that you work with that think that they know it all, okay? And there, there could be more room for improvement and you are getting frustrated with that. Now let's dive into the recent past. There could have been excessive expectations that you just didn't meet or some of you are too hard on yourself. Sagittarius, this is important. Spirit is saying here that some of you are too hard on yourself. You don't give yourself a break or you second guess yourself or your skills or your abilities. Let's try not to do that. I know it's easier said than done and maybe you've always been that way and that's what the Hierophant is. The Hierophant is beliefs that are stuck in our energy because we've believed them for so long. Now, there could be some celebrations here available in the future, but I feel like you may have missed out or felt like you've missed out on something good because you were on the outside looking in, right? Or you were on the inside looking out, wondering, where are these opportunities? Why is everybody else getting this? Some of you may have even been crossed over for a promotion where maybe there was empty promises or someone said, oh, hey, Sag, we'd love to give you that. And then it went to someone else, okay? Because thir three of cups can be going to the extremes as well. So it could be extremes in emotions. This situation could have really fired you up, right? It could be going to excess, uh, maybe over, okay, they're giving me someone may have overcalculated. Okay, so I'm not sure what that means, overcalculated, or uh, you've thought that something is going to be planned out, but it didn't turn out the way that you thought. Now, some of you uh, are working on cutting back on ex excess, right? Excess spending, excess drinking, foods, eating, or this could be something that you're helping or teaching other people do as well, especially if you work in wellness, nutrition, foods, anything of that nature. But because you have this in reverse in the past, there are some sort of expectations I feel that weren't quite met. All right, so what's coming in above you? Six of Cups. The message here is for you not to get stuck on these lost expectations or something that didn't work out for you. It's time to manifest in the energy of love, not of fear, okay? And that's what we're seeing here with the fool is a little bit of that fear. I uh, know some of you fool me once, uh, what does that saying go? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me, uh, fool me twice, shame on you, right? So I feel like someone may have fooled you or tricked you into believing that you were gonna be you know, at the top or you were gonna do something uh, powerful, but then it, it, it's, it's almost like it was a, a calculated, again, calculation, calculated risk. I mean, maybe some of you work with calculators, numbers, accounting, something like that, but I am getting here, Cherish what you've learned, hang on to what you've learned, but let go of what no longer serves you with the Six of Cups. Stay kind, keep your heart open. Even though you're seeing that other people, sometimes they're not always kind, sometimes they don't always keep their word. It doesn't mean that you have to build this big wall, right? And you have to stay in that lower vibration just like they are, because that's what they've done. They've, they've built a, a little bit of their own wall as well, but it's a wall of projection. Even though it may seem like they're getting what they want, they're manifesting from a place of fear, not a place of love, and it's not going to fulfill them in the long run, okay? It's not going to fulfill them even really in the moment. It's, a, it's almost like a facade, a fake type of fulfillment here. Six of Cups, focus on the good things, release the bad, be kind, stay compassionate. Some of you could have an opportunity to work with a past employer. You may be meeting someone for lunch that you used to work with as well. You could be reminiscing when you first started working, okay? For others of you, there was a failed test, 
a failed test here, whether it's a spiritual test or whether it was an actual exam, something that you've taken, uh, taken into consideration, but there's something that just didn't work out, okay? Uh, don't get lost in that, bigger and better. There's always a new opportunity here to grow, uh, and maybe there was something that you needed to learn, okay? Learn over or pay extra attention to. Now, in the near future, Sag, you, oh, you have the magician here, and we just talked about this. I haven't even, I didn't even see the near future, so this is manifestation, which we talked about. So some of you, again, are you manifesting from a place of fear or a place of love? Because you're manifesting, whether you believe it or not, each and every single day. The thoughts that you put out into the universe, that's what's coming in at you. So if you don't like where you're at, take a look and see what's going on in here, and I feel like that's what you've been doing. Doing. That's why you have the Buddha showing up here. And this is all about manifesting a reward. Now, subconsciously, some of you believe that there's some sort of not necessarily punishment, like the card says. It says manifesting a punishment. But I feel some of you have a deep belief system that you have to work, work, work super hard. And I just said this in another video as well. I forget which one. But a lot of people, especially those born before maybe 1980, may have grew up in a family setting or a, a tradition or a bloodline that believes that you have to work, work, work so very hard. Now, I'm not saying you don't have to work for what it is that you want. You absolutely do. But the way that we work, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to go about the old way. Work, uh, you know, 60, 80 hours uh, or work overtime or work multiple jobs or spend so much of our time, energy, and effort doing something where we don't have time for the things that matter most in life. That's not what we are being guided to do in this Aquarian age. But there still could be some subconscious patterns and beliefs that you have to work so very hard. And if you don't, it's not a reward. It's, it's a punishment, right? So some of you are working on releasing and coming up with this new mindset of working smarter, not harder. So let's manifest a reward. Let's manifest this tree, this tree of life here, right? Which you absolutely deserve because it is your birthright. It is your absolute birthright to tap into the energy of unlimited abundance. How can you work smarter today instead of harder Let's let the tools, the resources, the like-minded souls, the divine, our higher selves, right? Spirit, let's let the universe be our ally and work with us to manifest here the abundance that we seek. So what you are feeling, what you are thinking, you're ready for an ending. Some of you, you're ready to lift some deep anguish, okay? Ten of swords showing up can be something painful for you. It's cutting off the old. And this is sword. So this could be men mental energy as well. You can see here that there's five swords on each side of him and he's ready to have a mental breakdown, right? Uh, for others of you, I feel like you're on the path towards this new beginning because again, endings bringing in new beginnings. But the challenge is when is this new beginning going to happen, right? When am I able to release this mental anguish? Right now, right here, right now, Sagittarius. For those of you that feel stressed out, for those of you that feel lack of, for those of you that have suffered with loss, right, or you are wanting more security, the Ten of Swords says we can end that conflict. We can end that mental battle uh, within ourselves. And this Ten of Swords is showing up because it is about you coming out of a hard time. Yes, there's been a, a painful situation, but I feel like you're on the end of it. You're no longer in the midst of it, in the middle of it. This is that light before or the darkest before the dawn. And I feel like you're super, super close to this new beginning. Okay, so keep going. Hang in there a little bit longer. Longer. get ready because you're going to get a big yes there's a yes coming in here and whatever shape size or form that looks like some of you could be contemplating a move moving for work you may travel you may be a driver you may uh, uber you may be a truck driver as well or perhaps a pilot maybe you work in the airline industry as well uh, you work in a food truck okay uh, the chariot can be any sort of uh, mechanic as well some of you may be a mechanic 
or you work in the car sales, you may be needing a new car, uh, but this is about persevering willpower, but your, your dedication has been tested, and we got that earlier as well. There could have been something in the past that's tested you, but it's actually helped you grow stronger. So let it help you grow stronger, not harder. Right? We don't want to put a hard block up against our heart chakra because then we manifest from that place of fear. We want to open ourselves up and say, you know what? Yeah, that tested me. That broke me. I hit rock bottom, but I'm not going to let that define me, at least not in the negative. If you're going to let it define you, let yourself come out of it in a stronger, more powerful, more dedicated, determined being and human that you are. You're having a soul experience. Remember that everything that uh, excuse me, your soul, yes, having a human experience and every human experience that you have, it's to help you grow and evolve. And some of you just wanted to, to experience uh, specific things. And some of you, you may be cursing me in the comments saying, well, so why on earth would I choose to have that thing happen to me? And here it is. It's to uh, persevere, persevere and move forward bigger, better and stronger than you were. So chariot energy coming through here. This is environment, by the way. So this is what's going on around you. Even though the chariot is showing up here in reverse, it is about lack of direction at times, but I feel like you're going to get back on track here. I want to even say within the next six to eight weeks. Uh, however, September, this is about you keeping on, right? Doing that inner work, doing that soul searching. Uh, if you want to be a counselor or maybe this is a business coaching as well, helping people move through, the reason that you would make such a wonderful coach, mentor, spiritual teacher, healer, any of the above is because you've been through it and you can emphasize and you have compassion here. Keep that heart open and if you do, you'll be one of the best mentors that there ever was. All right. And for those of you that are, are not mentors, maybe people come to you for advice in your, your personal life. That's okay too. This is about you moving forward and being able to say, I got through that. I can get through anything. And it's going to actually help your solar plexus here become more confident, more strong, and more evolved. So in your hopes and fears, you have the six of wands. Some of you, it's fame and fortune. For others of you, this is a glorious win, right? Because the fear is, what if I fall again, right? What if I fall? What if there's not firm footing? This is a fall from grace and the reverse. So hopes, fears, wishes, wishes dreams, all of that. You want to rise to the top. But I am getting here that you're going to see the growth happening. You already have this financial relief. Some of you have applied for some sort of relief. You will get it. Okay, some sort of relief that you've applied for in the recent past, you will get it. It may just take a little bit of time. That could be that four to six weeks. There's going to be a glorious win here. So believe it. Believe that this is possible for you. Because again, your final outcome is the tree. This is that tree of life. This is financial growth. This is things coming to fruition. This is abundance. This is stability. All those things. All the things you want. So let's see how this ties into your final outcome. Final outcome here for Sagittarius, September 2023. Four of coins, it's in reverse. Four of coins is stability, right? It's about letting go, letting go of the old, letting go of that energy that I have to hang on so tightly to every single penny because uh, because I'm not going to have enough, right? Fours are about stability and the four of coins can sometimes mean that we're hanging on to every single bit that we make, which yeah, we need to do sometimes, but when it's in an obsessive type of way, and this is the only way I can, I like to describe it, and it makes sense because we're seeing the hand here holding a cigar, which we know it's not good for us, but he's holding it, right? So the way I like to think of the four of, of pentacles here, is hanging on to water. So pretend that this water, which is energy, which is the same thing as currency or money, it's just energy. If we are grasping on to water, but we want that water to be here in case we need to drink from it, right? We want to have a little bit in our hands, but when we squeeze so tightly, 
to what we believe is scarce, right? Maybe we think there's not going to be enough water. The well is drying up. There's not enough. We squeeze it so tight. What happens when you open your hands is there's not enough water. So when you get dehydrated, when you get thirsty, guess what? You don't have anything there. So that's the same energy here that you are releasing. Instead of hanging on so darn tight and not really having anything, you're loosening your grip a little bit. And you're saying, you know, if that water, that water's pouring in, I believe it it's right here I have access to the tap at all times there's plenty to go around when you start to loosen the grip on that obsessiveness or that energy of uh, being very 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 tight right very tight you actually strengthen your uh, stability and you have enough so that way when that water comes in your palm you're not so loose here that it's coming out your fingers right and you're not so tight that it's squirting out your fingers either direction but you're just hanging on just enough here where you have plenty when you need it and that's what your final outcome is and that's what the secret and the key is to building your stability is letting it flow so many times we attach ourselves we attach ourselves to the expectations to the outcome to the the numbers to what something should look like right but when we start to just let it flow that builds in a new sense of stability this is about managing your resources taking a look at where you can save more some of you are saving for a home okay and you may be crunching pennies and yeah there's nothing wrong with that you, you're saving for a big goal here uh, but just taking a look at your finances taking a look at where your money is working best for you what are you spending on are there subscriptions that you could cancel at this time where you could be putting that extra ten to a hundred dollars a month away for something that you want so I I feel like it's about managing your resources in order for you to save for retirement, in order for you to save and help create your business so you can leave a legacy. Uh, for those of you that may have received a promotion, you've, you've heard the old story, the, ma the more you make, the more you spend. Well, if you make a little bit more, spend a little bit less. Take that extra gap, take that little piece that you would normally, you know, uh, not have and put that away. Put that into an account that maybe you, you forget about, you don't even see. It just automatically gets direct deposited into, you know, a new account. So I am getting stability here for you. Four of coins gets a bad rap, but fours are all about stability. They're about structure and planning. And I feel like that's what you're doing here is you're planning your future, but it's not through the hands of rigidity. It's not by hanging on so tight and worrying and obsessing that there's not enough. You're, you're loosening the, the reins a little bit, just like a horse, right? If you ride that horse and you're so tight on the reins, what's going to happen? That horse is going to buck up. You're going to fly off and it's a big hot mess. You don't want that. You want to just loosen the reins and go with the flow. And that's what the chariot represents as well. Typically in the chariot, there's two horses, a black and a white horse that leads you. And a lot of times they don't even have reins in the chariot. So I feel for you, you're loosening up that grip, loosening, loosening up that mental conflict, whatever's going on here, you're ending something that no longer serves you it could be an ending to a lifestyle a pattern a habit something that just isn't good for you and you're moving forward here with more ease and towards a new beginning some of you have a new income source coming in do something with that income source if there's a little extra flow put it towards where you can make make more okay invest into it look into it you have what it takes to succeed in big big ways all right, let's take a look here, Sag, and see what messages are coming in from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? This is a really intense reading. I hope it's resonating with you all. Very interesting as well, and I can't remember for the life of me what reading it was. Someone else also received the Four of Coins as the outcome. It may have been Leo, possibly Virgo or Aries as well. You may have those placements in your chart. And then we also have the here and now, and this makes absolute perfect sense. And it may have actually been that same exact reading that received the four of coins and the here and now card together. So this is pretty wild. All right. Uh, is that Simon? Simon? Okay. I'm getting Simon Sin or Simonson or Sim, S-I-M. There could be a S-O-N or S-I-M in a name, in a company, in a place, in a location, in a street. Please take that as it resonates. Simonson or Simonson, okay? Card 32 here. Some of you could be 32 years old. 
or you are in a life path five or in a five personal year. Now, 32 is all about being fully present, living one day at a time. What you are working on, Sagittarius, is golden, and your efforts will leave a powerful, powerful what? A legacy. Hello, tree of life here. You'll leave a powerful legacy. Focus not on meeting a goal in the far off future, but on creating your dream now, releasing your desire for an outcome or some sort of expectation that we see here. And you have the six of cups, which says release anything of the past. Releasing your desire for an outcome and owning that it already exists. It will appear in the material world as if by magic, but you must claim your prosperity now. The essence is more important than the form. There is that magician. That magician tells you and reminds you, Sag, that the essence is way more important than the form. Where is it coming from? Okay, claim your prosperity. When you are immersed in prosperous thoughts, you automatically tune in to a sense of timelessness and unlimited potential. You can act as if in spite of the temporary outer conditions. You are prosperous at this moment. What you think now becomes your reality. Stay present. Yeah, here it is. And we talked about this in depth with the magician card. This is about you manifesting. Are you manifesting from a place of fear or a place of love? You'll manifest from that place of love if you stay in the moment, right? Not worrying about what's going on back here, out here, or too far down the road. All we can focus on is right now, building your affluence, building your dream. Sagittarius, when you do find your mind drifting into the past, wondering if things could have been or should have been better, or whenever you find yourself longing for the good old days, you leak power. The same is true for looking too far ahead and hoping the future will provide you with certainty. Driven, hello chariot, driven by your ambition, you might wander too long in a place where there is no substance. And then you forget that you are here right now, right here today. The past and future are illusions. Whenever you leave the present moment, you are disconnecting from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in perfect timing. I love this. This really does wrap up beautifully with the six of cups, with the three of cups in reverse, with the fool, with the magician. I'm loving this for you because it does remind you to stay present and stay in the moment. All right, we're going to take a look and see which spirit animals you are working with at this time and what their message messages are for you. So at this time, Sagittarius, I just ask if you can take a nice deep breath in from that solar plexus chakra, the belly area. Take a couple of nice big belly breaths if you can. And with your eyes closed, I want you to focus on your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky or swims deep in the sea. Your animal could be wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Perhaps your animal has visited you in the great outdoors, through your dreams. Maybe your animal has crossed over the rainbow bridge or maybe at home right at this moment. There is no right or wrong answer, Sagittarius. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do 
is drop your power animals in the comment section below this video. And I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell if you haven't already. And you're not gonna believe this, this is absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't already tuned into the synchronicities that are happening within your reading, this really is the cherry on top. You have hummingbird spirit and it says, be here now. You can't make that up here. Be here now. So extra confirmation that it is important for you to be here in the present, be here in the now. Hummingbird. Some of you could even see a hummingbird in the coming weeks. Maybe you recently have. Some of you are uh, building a place for birds. It could be a building, maybe a well, or not so much a well, a fountain for birds to drink at. It could be a hummingbird feeder. Uh, some of you just got a new uh, hummingbird. Not so much just hummingbird. I'm getting bird in general. So some of you may have seen another bird, which you do have another bird in your pile here. Uh, but I am getting that you may have bought bird seed or something to feed those creatures. Or it could be that higher vibrational energy. Spirit is reminding you to stay in that energy of love. Beautiful. And I have to mention, uh, typically I don't pull from the bottom of the deck unless I see it or spirit brings it to my attention. And I did see here and at the bottom, what you don't see coming, the rhino spirit comes in to remind you that you can overcome any obstacle, any obstacle at all. Some of you may be 50 years old, 34, 29, 45, or 53. Okay. Or you may be born on the 29th. Now you have giraffe. Giraffe says, see the big picture. When you can see it from a higher perspective, then it, it helps put those pieces together and you are able to understand things on a deeper level than maybe you were able to see prior. So take a step back and see how the pieces could fit together for you in a, in a more beautiful collaborative way. So giraffe spirit reminds you to see the bigger picture, not just one way of viewing something. Watch your words because your words create your reality at this time. And we heard that here with the here and now. This is the manifestation. Your thoughts become your reality. Your words become your reality. So make sure that you are speaking with love, compassion, kindness. The words that you are saying are not based on fear, based on love, right? I am abundant. I am wealthy. I have uh, this, these opportunities in front of me. I am magical. I am a divine spark. Whatever they are for you, instead of I'm broke, I don't have money, I'll never get this job. Let's focus on the positive. And lastly, Seahorse Spirit says, watch and wait. So there is a little tiny bit of a waiting period here. Not too much, because like I said, you're closer than you think. You already have this full energy in your vibrational sphere. So what this tells me is something that you've already put out into the universe, you're going to see coming back to you sooner rather than later. It could be towards the end of September, possibly here October, November, as mentioned. It could be four to six weeks out or six to eight weeks out as well. But watch and wait because you're shifting your vibration and you're going to see things happening on a very beautiful, magical level. So trust, trust in the universe. Spirit wants to remind you to trust that all will be well and that you are going in the right direction. Okay. And last but not least, let's see which crystal, gemstone, mineral, or fossil you can you work with in the month of September to help you on your most prosperous path. What do we have here, please? for Sagittarius. You have Aqua Aura Quartz is the first card out, card six. You also have Kyanite. It's card 28. Interestingly enough, these are both blue energies, which is about communication. And I thought that important communication came up for you as well. And you also have Selenite, which I love the Selenite sphere because you can see that right here behind me, uh, there's the, the Selenite sphere. And this is all about connecting to that higher energy as well. So we're going to read the first one out, Aqua Aura Quartz. Card six, and this is the card of the lovers as well in tarot. Six is lovers energy. So choices from the heart. Choices, uh, making manifestations with the heart instead of fear, right? Uh, this is about connecting to infinite potential, a renewed sense of purpose, wonder, and awe. And when it comes to your prosperity, the message for you is this. 
As long as you are on this earth and in this body, you will always need to pay your bills and fill your belly. But Aqua Aura Court Spirit is here to remind you of the magic that happens when you align with the flow of abundance. You realize you really do have what you need. Resources multiply and you start to feel like Jimmy Stewart in It's a Wonderful Life. With a basket overflowing with gifts from those who remember what you did and who you are, right? And we talked about that with the Six of Cups here as well. Remembering, uh, let's see here, overflowing with gifts from those who remember what you did and who you are, who want you to know that the money and support show up when you let go of your fear that you aren't enough. You are enough, Sagittarius, and so much more. Open yourself to the abundant gifts from the universe today and be in awe of the signs that say, yes, I'm listening, and I love you to there and back. Beautiful. This goes hand in hand with your final outcome, which is that stability, that that letting go of the, not the superficial, because like it says, we're always going to have to pay bills and put food in our mouths and in our tummies here. So I do feel that the more you release and open up, the more that you'll see that there are blessings and resources and wealth and abundance all around you. And you're going to see it multiply as well. So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I certainly hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you are connecting with the energy. It helps the channel and it also helps reach those that need to hear these messages the most. I would love to see those power animals in the comment section box below. And again, if you're vibing with the energy here and haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for spending your precious time and energy here with us today. Lots of love.